A North Korean newsreader announces that the country's missiles are on standby, ready to strike the U.S. and its military bases. This latest threat comes one day after the U.S. military conducted stealth bomber exercises over the Korean peninsula. From crude propaganda films like this one showing a U.S. warplane being blown up, to massive pro-North Korea rallies. Rhetoric from the Hermit Nation has intensified in recent weeks. During a visit to Seoul, the head of the U.S. Senate Foreign Relations Committee, Republican Bob Corker, said that while Washington is taking the threat seriously, he feels the latest round of saber-rattling will subside. Obviously in our country we're building additional missile interceptors and I met with General Thurman this morning who handles uh, our U.S. operations and uh, they're prepared for anything that might take place, but hopefully what will occur is cooler heads will prevail and this will de-escalate and uh, hopefully we can have uh, fruitful negotiations about the future and my sense is that's what's going to happen. The North's only economic ally, China, is also calling for calm. During a foreign ministry briefing Friday, the spokesperson said peace on the peninsula will serve the common interests of all parties involved.